another state deciding former President Donald Trump won't appear on its primary ballot. Maine is the most recent state to weigh in on its eligibility heading into 2024. Meanwhile, GOP presidential candidate is facing controversy. NBC's Chris Pallone has the latest. Nothing set in stone, but it will have to be fairly quick. You know these primaries are coming up. Maine's is March 5th on Super Tuesday, but ballots have to be printed ahead of time and they have to be sent to military members overseas, often 45 days before an election. So this is all going to have to happen very quickly. On the state's primary ballot based on the 14th Amendment to the Constitution, which prohibits those who engaged in insurrection from holding office. All of the evidence made clear that Mr. Trump was aware of the tender laid by a multi-month effort to delegitimize a Democratic election. A Trump campaign spokesman said it will appeal the ruling. It comes a little more than two weeks before the first votes in the 2024 cycle are cast in Iowa. Republican former Governor Nikki Haley doing damage control after she failed to mention slavery as a cause of the Civil War at a New Hampshire town hall Wednesday. What do you want me to say about slavery? No, um, uh, you've answered my question. Thank you. Next question. Haley spent Thursday explaining what she meant. We know the Civil War was about slavery, but it was also more than that. It was about the freedoms of every individual. Haley's competitors pounce after the apparent gaffe. If someone asked me what the cause of the Civil War was, <laughs> it's easy. It's slavery. The minute that she faces any type of scrutiny, uh, she tends to cave. Even President Biden took a swing at Haley, writing on social media, it was about slavery. Overnight, California Secretary of State certified primary ballots there and elected to keep the former president on. This days after a Colorado court removed him from primary ballots in that state. It's likely the Supreme Court will ultimately settle the matter. In Washington, Chris Pallone, NBC News.